Hi guys, today is the last day of our challenge, one week, one bot, and I have very interesting things to show you. Let's get started. So first of all, I want to say that I didn't find anything with the signals from the major forex currencies, but I have something to show you and in my mind, something very, very interesting. So really stay to the end because I will show you something that is very amazing to avoid to have an overfitting problem. First of all, I want to explain you how I create my trading strategies. So the first step is to find an underlying theory. For example, I know that I have a lot of signals that show me that the short term variation can be predicted, but the long term variation cannot. I will use the theory that say that always on the long term, the market comes back to the equilibrium, always. But on the short term, there is some periods that are not at the equilibrium. And that's where we can find some opportunities. That's what I'm using, the economic reason that I use to say that the signal that I use is valid. So for us, it's a strategy on the Ethereum. Here, I just talk the Ethereum without over cryptocurrencies because I was really, really in the rush, okay? And so the lesson that you need to take from this challenge is that Trade trading strategies demands time and it's really, really important to understand that because once you have one trading strategy, it's good. Once you have five, six trading strategies, it's really, really good because you will decrease your risk and you will keep comfortable return. But it demands some time and it's quite logical. If it was too easy, all the people will be able to have this kind of trading strategies. So the relation is the signal that I found. I just took the same template as for the short term variation on the FX major currencies. And now I applied it on the Ethereum. I just changed also the take profit and stop losses because here the Ethereum is much more volatile. Now I will try another method, which is to take a lot of a variable because the first method doesn't work a lot for this particular example, but, but it is the method that I use. And to be sure that all this variable don't have any relation with the target, we need to do much more thing. Create non-linear correlation, linear correlation, the features importance, we really need to do a lot of things. And why we will just test that it's because we do not have enough time. And at the end of the video, we will see the limitations of this approach. So here we can see that all the features has a good importance in the model. So it's not a big deal to integrate them. Then we model the problem and we plot the confusion matrix and the accuracy. And now if I compute the precision, so this number divided by this one plus this one, I'm close to 45, which is quite good if we are able to keep 45% of winning trade with a 1.5 error ratio, it's really, really good. You will have a good trading strategy. So that's why there I change the scoring score, okay, in precision, which is exactly what I have computed there. And as we can see, we have an average precision of 0.45. So maybe we can have a better strategy with this signal. So now I need to transform all these signals into the training strategy. So to do it, it's very simple. I will not enter into the details because this template comes from the AlphaQuant program. You can find the link in the description if you want to follow it. And the only things that you have to do is to create the training strategies and then you will be able to apply all the templates of work for our optimization of cross validation to test the robustness, which is really, really important. And why it is so important? Because if we look the documentation that I have, we can see that first we have amazing results when we look about the back test. And that's why we use robustness test, because now with the work for our optimization, we have amazing returns. If you have some strategies like this, three, for example, it's clearly enough to have an amazing portfolio, okay? 
Over the period, we have 100% of return with a maximum drawdown of 13 and it's over only two years. So 50% of return annually. But the question is why I will not use this trading strategy in live trading on my side. Just like this, using simple backtest methods, it's impossible to say that finally this strategy is not enough robust to be put in live trading. But we can see that using the robustness templates in the AlphaQuant program. We can have two very interesting metrics. The probability of overfitting, which is based on the values that we want to optimize. If we have a probability of overfitting around 55%, it means that you have one chance over two to have an overfitted model, which is very, very high. But the most important thing is that the odds to have a profitable trading strategy, even if it's overfitted, is 60%. So this trading strategy is really at the border. We have good results, but the robustness test is not very, very good. So on my side, as I had already some trading strategies, I will even not put this trading strategy in paper trading. But for you, if you really want to test it, what you can do is try this trading strategy on paper trading for three or six months and see how it works. If you see any sign of overfitting problems, just remove the strategy and put it to the bin. Go forward on new signals and try for other trading strategies. It's really not good to focus on one trading strategy because you just really want that this strategy is profitable. I know what you are feeling when you have a losing trading strategy because to have my portfolio of trading strategies, I had to test 100, 200 trading strategies. So it demands a lot of time. Really, you need to be aware of that when you jump into algorithmic trading and quantitative trading. It's not like, okay, this weekend I will trade my trading boat, I will put it in live trading and I will be rich in two weeks or three weeks. No, it's really not like that. It's really a huge process that you need to master. But once you master it, you just have to take some time to work on your new strategies. And above all, all the tests that I was able to do in few minutes was only possible thanks to the AlphaQuant program. Without that, it's very difficult to backtest your trading strategy, test the robustness, because you need to code all the tests by yourself and the odds that you have some errors into are very, very high. So. Now let's talk about what we have learned in this challenge. First, we have learned the process. First, the features. Second, the signals, which are black box. And after that, the trading strategy, where you really create the trading strategy, combining different signals, combining different alphas, and taking into account an economic theory. Look about the risk management. There, I didn't talk about the risk management. Why? Because I backtest my trading strategies as if I put 100% of my capital and I manage the risk, giving them the right weight in my portfolio, okay? So let's say that I create trading strategies without position sizing, but I keep a stop loss, etc. to do not have a too high drawdown, okay? Because I still want something profitable without too much risk. And after that, once I have different trading strategies, I will use portfolio and risk management techniques to combine them to reduce my risk and optimize my return. And the last thing that we have seen is to think about the right metrics when we abort a trading problem, because we can see a lot of videos on internet made by data scientists that are really, really good. But the problem is that they abort a trading problem like another problem. That's why it's so important to understand that, for example, we can never say that our trading strategy is really, really good because we have a very small mean squared error or because we have a high accuracy. We need always to make in relation this matrix with our problem. So I really hope that you like this challenge. If you want to learn more about quantitative trading, I will really invite you to go on the description and take a look about the AlphaQuant program. Because as my students said, it's really a game changer and you will earn a lot of time.